Hi, David Dodge here from Green Energy Futures. Today we're at the home of Ted Wolf. We're going to do an energy audit on his home and we're going to find out exactly where energy is leaking out of this 55 year old home. Meet Ted Wolf. Not only can he play a mean guitar, but as founder of Connect Connect Foods, he foresaw the explosion in the gluten free food market. With a home renovation on the way, he wanted to do an energy audit to make sure that he got the most bang for his buck. For that, he called Sea Returns and Goto Stoiki. Well, Sea Returns is a new uh, Edmonton nonprofit that is basically the idea is to provide a, a one stop solution for green home retrofits. We're trying to take the hassle out of it and we're also basically adding the expertise. So rather than you calling three plumbers and five solar installers, it's all in house. We've got pre qualified uh, contractors, they basically do the whole job for you. Typically, you start out with an energy and carbon audit. So basically, look at where's your house at, we look at your consumption, we uh, look at all your equipment and you figure out where are the best returns for you, both for your pocketbook and for the environment. We talked to Goto Stoiki and Sea Returns Auditor Rob Garalitz as he went through Ted Wolf's house to get the best six tips on what to invest in to make a more energy efficient home. You know these little uh, black power bricks that you see that are very ubiquitous? Every house is now 20 or 30 of them, Nintendos and cell phone chargers. They're constantly drawing power. In fact, most homes is the number one electrical power user. Also called phantom loads, these things are everywhere. Rob Garrelitz demonstrates on a printer that uses 7 watts, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, even when it's not printing. Well, the next one I would check out how old is your fridge, for example, because it, 20, 30 years ago, fridge was the number one energy user. The new fridges are much more efficient, so you may want to see if it's time to replace it. Another one I should say is, a really good one is actually draft protection. A uh, house can lose up to 30% of its heat just to all the little gaps in the house. That's something you can do yourself, very cost effectively, you know, just basically caulking gun. It's not sexy, it's not high tech, but really effective. Or you can get a professional and get it done for you. A handy tool for finding where you need to seal your house is an infrared camera. It shows exactly where the cold air is getting in and where you need to focus your efforts. What you're looking at is an exterior outlet plug on one of the perimeter walls. And as you can see from the coloration, the purple blue hue, uh, you're looking at air infiltration coming through. Well, another one as big as lighting. I mean, everybody uses lights. They about five to 15 percent again of your home consumption for electrical, and they have really good paybacks. And you have choices now. There's compact fluorescent lights. They're still a good old standby. They're very inexpensive. You can also go for the LED lights. They're a bit more expensive, but in some applications, they're actually highly efficient because they focus the light really nicely. In this house, Gerlitz found a 300 watt halogen light bulb in a fixture that was pointing at the ceiling. This can be replaced by a 13 watt compact fluorescent, saving 287 watts. Another good one is your washing machine. If it's getting a little old in the tooth, uh, think about a front loading washer. Because they have a horizontal spin, they need much less water, and that means also much less energy to heat. In fact, 60% savings plus much less detergent. So they're a really good investment. We're looking at an old house today, 55 yeah. years old. Yeah. What if, we're, what if there's almost an original <laughs> furnace in there? Yeah, this one is, is probably about, you know, I think 72% efficient. So if you go to a 93 up to 98, you can save about 30% right there. One way to check if your furnace is heating your house and not the great outdoors is the blower door test. Well, we've only scratched the surface here today. For more tips on how to make your home super energy efficient, head on down to greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd love to hear from you on Facebook and Twitter. I'm David Dodge.